Snap is going to be put on. Put the elbow down. Here comes the yeah. guard with this, ladies. I own you. Go so bring them fingers down. Bring oh. your thumbs. Michael! We're going home as soon as this is over. Dad, come on, you got to win. Ladies and gentlemen, now they're locked right to the finish of the match. Sylvester Stallone, a trucker trying to win an arm wrestling contest and win the respect of his long-lost son in Over the Top. One of four new movies we'll be reviewing this week, along with the video release of a classic Beatles film. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. The new Sylvester Stallone movie will not look very new, I'm afraid, to a lot of his fans. It has the same old formula as the Rocky movies. Mm -hmm. A long build-up and then the big climactic title fight. The only thing different this time is the sport, which is arm wrestling. Now... You may not have thought, and I may not have thought, that arm wrestling was a major league event anywhere outside of saloons, truck stops, and junior high school cafeterias. But this movie ends with the World Arm Wrestling Championship in a Las Vegas hotel. And I guess anything you can bet on, you can get a Las Vegas hotel to sponsor. As the movie begins, Stallone is a divorced father who hasn't seen his son in 10 years. Now the mother is dying and wants him to get together again soon, maybe for some fatherly advice like this. Grandfather always said you were a loser. Now you're trying to make me one, and I hate you for it. Mike, I don't care what your grandfather thinks about me, okay? All I care about is you. Now, you lost back there because you beat yourself. You let yourself get beat. I know you can do it. You're a special kid. You're my boy, do you understand? But you're also a spoiled, rich brat who's always had everything done for him. Now it's time to do for yourself, Mike, and you can do it. Because I'm telling you, the world meets nobody halfway. Do you understand what that means? If you want it, Mike, you got to take it. The kid's grandfather hates Stallone and steals the kid, and then this is how Stallone, a truck driver, turns up at the mansion to get his kid back. After that, Stallone needs a new truck, and he hopes to win one in a Vegas showdown against the other arm wrestling champs. Right now, double or nothing, what do you say? Let's just wait for Vegas. Come on, let's do it now. I feel like kicking some ass. Let's wait till Vegas, okay? You ain't got a prayer in Vegas. Of course, everything depends on the big tournament in Vegas, including winning the respect of his son. And one of the questions that I had all during this movie was why Stallone didn't haul off and belt that kid all the way across the room. Of course, you don't see him at his most obnoxious there. I didn't think I was going to find arm wrestling very thrilling in this movie, but I have to be honest and report that the championship matches are exciting, even though arm wrestling doesn't exactly have the speed and poetry of boxing, or for that matter, any other sport. <laughs> The match is exciting, but the film is predictable, and once again, Stallone does not allow his movie wife to upstage him in a movie. This time, she's played by Susan Blakely, and she has two dumb telephone scenes with nobody else in them, and then she dies off camera. Her only, oh, your mother is dead. Her only function is to set it up so that everything depends on Stallone proving that he loves his son. I would have liked this movie better if they'd forgotten about the wife and the son and the grandfather and Stallone, for that matter, and just concentrated on the arm wrestlers, who all seemed a lot more interesting than any of the main characters in the movie. Uh, I just must reemphasize the kid. The kid plays a very large role. They, they know that they don't have a lot to show with arm wrestling. I mean, how many times can you go this way and this way? You know, I mean, you know, you know, it just isn't kind of that thrilling intrinsically of a sport. So, uh, you know you know, watch a metronome, you get the same effect. Uh, but the kid occupies the, probably two-thirds of the picture, yeah. and the kid is cloying, obnoxious, just not a good mm -hmm. actor. Mm -hmm. um, it is totally predictable. Uh, the one trick you learn is that Stallone puts his hands here. Give me your hand. He, yeah, you know, he, remember he goes up like he goes this? Up, yeah. Uh, and he, uh, now, uh, uh, when, deal, when, when yeah. he wins that way, wouldn't you think that some of the other guys would figure it out and they would try and get the advantage over the top? No. Yeah, and then you also always have some kind of an expertise gimmick at the yeah. end. For example, when their hands are so sweaty, yeah. they slip apart, so they have to yeah. bring out the strap. strap. Get them strap together. You know? <laughs> You're thinking, gee, this is a whole lot of minutia about a sport that is itself nothing but minutia. Uh, you got it. <laughs> Either one of us thought there was that much original and over-the-top, the new Sylvester Stallone action picture.